Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance, but I'm using um, Doreen Virtue's cards here and we are looking at the question of love. So uh, once in a while, at least once a month, I try to put out an oracle guidance reading on love. And uh, this, um, this week I've decided to use our, uh, Doreen Virtue's cards. And the cards that I'm using are the Romance Angel cards here. And I'm using the Angel Answers uh, Oracle cards here. So I'd like you to choose, I'm going to be using both decks for the um, for the question. So I'm going to take a card from here or and one other card from here as well. So I would like you to go ahead and choose um, either number one, two or three. And, uh, you know, you can go down to the description box where you find the timestamp. And if I am available when I'm uploading the video, then I will put paste the timestamp in the comment section, but I'm not always available. So uh, if there's anyone else who would like to do that, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, so go ahead and just um, choose a, a number between one, two or three. You may pause the video if you need a bit of time and uh, you can go directly to your reading thereafter. So I'm going to start the reading at the moment and we are asking the first question, which is, uh, which is for you this week. We are asking for the, those of you who've chosen number one, what is it that I need to know for this week with regard to love? Or what is it that I need to hear at this moment with regard to love? And we're asking for some guidance here. So I'm just going to give these cards a quick shuffle. Okay, this feels like the card. And the card here is forgiving and learning. And we're going to take one also from here. So for those of you who have chosen the option number one, what is it that you need to know for this week in terms of love? Okay, I feel it's this one here. All right, so for me, these this, this is a pretty clear uh, combination and it actually fits quite well with each other. It's about forgiving and learning. I'm going to read the cards exactly as they are and if I have any... Uh, kind of channeling or clairvoyant insights I'm going to add them but here we have forgiving and learning and the the that's the and the caption reads as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments and then the the other card is the situation will improve so for those of you who've chosen the option one there could be a situation in which you are not exactly in a in a space of love and peace and, and happiness with your partner. Perhaps you are undergoing some difficulty. Perhaps the person is not yet your partner. Perhaps you're wondering if this relationship will come to fruition. Or maybe you just haven't met somebody yet that you would like to experience love with or you'd like to share your love with. And this is a situation where you are wondering, you know, how long is this going to go on for? Whatever your situation, the, the guidance for this week with, for, that you've come here to hear is that you need to forgive in order to learn, okay? So try to look at it. Uh, I think like uh, one of the biggest mistakes that we make um, when we're in love relationships is having expectations from the other person. And here the card is talking about forgiving. So it's about forgiving that which you did not have, forgiving the disappointments, forgiving um, yourself for having such expectations, forgiving the other for not meeting your expectations and maybe dropping those expectations, maybe leaving those expectations behind and actually focusing love into the situation. So love is a great healer. And if you focus love, your love, the actual love that you have, not any resentment or hurt or pain that you might be experiencing because they didn't do this or they didn't return that call or they didn't react the way you expected them to react. None of those emotions, you know, put those emotions to the side and actually just focus love into the situation and then you will find that the situation will improve. Uh, and also forgiving. Forgiving is like a really important part of this. So, you know, it's about allowing the other person um, to be when you're forgiving that person, you are, what you're actually doing is you're respecting the other person's um, ability to simply be, you know, you're not saying, oh, well, you've done me wrong or you've done me, uh, you, you could have done better. You basically are saying, well, I accept the way you've behaved and I respect that you've behaved in that way. And yes, it's caused me hurt and I can forgive you for that hurt that you 
uh, that you've caused me. And in doing this, in, in taking the softest dance, uh, you are going to infuse the situation with healing. And as the card says here, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And you're going to be drawing in more of this love. And this love is kind of contagious. It will it'll multiply and, and there, will, there will be more love. It's like, you know, it spreads like a bacteria uh, almost. Uh, that's a funny example, I know. And so the situation will improve as a result. But I feel like, you know, if some of you are having difficulties in terms of the forgiving and the learning, you know, maybe uh, do an exercise with yourself where you write down all the things that you love about the person and then, you know, you maybe write down in another a column the things that you've been hurt about or the things that you don't appreciate and then work with the things that you don't appreciate and try to emphasize or feel that love that you actually, about the things that you appreciate about this person, you know, try to honor that person, try to uh, l really uh, respect that person as another being, you know, um, bring in this kind of uh, feeling of namaste, you know, the divine in me acknowledges the divine in you. Where is it that you are not acknowledging the divine in that person or in that situation? And if there isn't another person involved here, if it's just you and yourself and uh, you are still hurting from the past, then this card uh, or these cards are asking you to actually uh, heal that in the past in order to allow the situation to improve. So these cards are fairly self-explanatory. And uh, that's why they are, I guess, they're so popular. They're kind of on the nose and they tell you what you need to be doing in order to make progress. And I thought we might use these cards today because uh, sometimes one wants to have a more direct answer as opposed to uh, a more elaborate um, uh, kind of answer. So I hope that's been of help to you for today. And I'm going to move on to the next uh, option now. And I'm wishing you much love and many blessings in your life life okay so moving on now to the option number two um so for those of you who've chosen the option uh number two uh, the question we're asking today is what do we need to know about our love life and what is it that i've come here to hear what is it that's going to help me now in terms of my love life okay so i'm going to give these cards a proper shuffle So that was just to clear the energy of the past reading. And now we're asking for the option number two. Okay. All right. I'm just wanting one card. So it feels like more than one card wants to come across here. right for me okay so with the card we have here is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life and let's see what we have here we're going to take another card also from this deck here and I'm first going to shuffle these cards to get rid of the energy from the previous reading okay it feels okay and we're asking for the number two, what else do we need to know? Aside from freeing yourself, what else do we need to know right now um, for, the, for the time that we are here to find out about love? Okay, for the time, for the week ahead or as we go along. Okay, I'm going to take this one here. Oops. And the card that flew out is no. Uh... So for me, it feels like um, like this is a situation where they're actually asking you to leave this leave the situation behind you, um, and if you've been on wondering, you know, is the answer yes or no? Should I stay or should I go? Uh, what should I do in this situation? What the, the message here is to free yourself. So what I'm hearing here is that you will be much happier. And much more fulfilled if you were to leave the situation so uh, and if there was another question that you're asking here uh, the answer is is a no okay so that's like a very you know uh, obvious uh, answer there um, but what I want to say about this is that you know 
the situation that you uh, might be finding yourself in, in is one where you go like round and round and you're not actually making any progress. And as you're going round and round in the situation, you're making yourself tired and you're actually uh, are, you're losing something of yourself along the way. So in order to regain yourself, in order to make yourself whole again, in order to feel who you really are and to regain what it is that you've lost in the situation, it is important for you to free yourself. It's important for you to take back control of your life and in order to do that perhaps it means that you simply free yourself you're not really leaving the relationship that you are in if you are in such a relationship but simply that you are making more time for yourself um ensuring that you have a bit more me time so to say and you know doing things by yourself doing things that help you rebuild your strength your inner strength and and help you understand who you really are so i feel like a lot of uh, alone time is indicated here but also time that is not necessarily alone but away from the love per, um, connection that you have you know it might mean that you do a, a sport that takes you away from them on a weekly basis or perhaps you have a, you know you go away on a little holiday or you simply go home to visit your parents if you don't already live with them and if, if you will actually just separate yourself for a little bit of time because it is really important for you right now to say no and to maintain those boundaries to be able to take time for yourself um, it's very important for you right now to focus inward and and check if you are okay and see where it is that you're not okay. And if it requires you to actually do a bit of um, introspection or uh, do a bit of meditation or simply sitting with yourself and asking yourself, am I really happy in this situation? What is lacking here? What could be better? How can I give myself this thing that is better? And what is it that I can do right now to improve my life in this moment? How is it that I can do that? And, you know, if it means that you ask, it means that you stop thinking about this other person right now, uh, or you put that person on the back burner, or you simply stop seeing that person for a little while until you can get your life in order, then that is what's indicated here. So for those of you who don't actually have love in your life, and this is something that you are simply wondering, like, what, what is it that I need to do here? The I think the, the thing that you need to do is actually to stop thinking about this person, just to step away from this and stop allowing yourself to engage or indulge in thoughts about this person because it feels here that this is not the right path to take. It's almost like you end up in a cul-de-sac if you do this or you end up you know, in a, just going round and round, not really able to, to free yourself from the situation. So remove that distraction from your life and... Uh, try to train yourself not to think too much about that person and and see what comes you know because you'll find that when you do that you'll be you will be freeing yourself and you will be taking back your life and this will actually enable all kinds of new um opportunities for you or new alternatives for you so i hope that's been helpful for those of you who have chosen the option number two and uh i'm wishing you much love and many blessings as you go along uh, including in your love life. Okay, so thank you very much for coming by. And I'm moving on now to the next option. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, I mean, sorry, for those of you who've chosen the option number three, the question we're asking today is, what is it that you need to know in terms of love? Or what is it that will be helpful for you now in terms of love? Or what is it that's going to assist me as I go along in terms of my love life or in terms of love in general? So I'm going to give these cards a quick shuffle. It feels like this is the card. And I have here worth waiting for. And divine timing is at work in your love life, it says. Okay. So let's see what the next deck has to offer. Okay. All 
right, so we have a big yes here with an exclamation mark. So this deck has two no's and two yeses. One yes is uh, with an exclamation mark and one is without. So if you've been wondering like what is going on here, if you've been watching a bunch of pick a card readings and trying to figure out what's going on in your life or whether this person's going to be with you or not, uh, or what should we do, you know, should you contact this person? Or if you've been wondering if, you know, the relationship that you're in right now is actually worth being in, whether it's it's going to be to your detriment or whether it's actually going to be okay if you're going through some challenges at the moment. The answer here is a very definite, definite yes, it is worth waiting for. And that divine timing is that work in your love life. So even though you might not feel it at times, even though you might not be clear about it, uh, and you might be in a state of, of wondering or simply in a state of limbo or not actually be clear about how to go on in the situation. What they want you to know at this moment is that there are there are things happening behind the scenes which you don't have privy, which are not um, you don't have access to basically. And that there, there are um, the circumstances are being helped by divine by the divine world. You know, you are being supported by the divine world and yes this will come to fruition and yes you should go ahead with this and yes you you have the green light to basically continue as you've been doing until now and they're asking you uh i think here what they're saying is in a way just let let it be let it be because we have control of the situation that's one thing just simply be yourself don't uh spend too much of energy uh or anxiety on uh, the situation at hand because you're going to be infusing it with the kind of energy that it doesn't need and the other thing is you know simply let this uh divine timing work uh work for you let let the divine support that you're receiving work for you and simply surrender yourself to the situation so with this yes here with this exclamation mark i really feel this energy of surrendering of just allowing just being blessed allowing yourself to be blessed by this energy that's all around you and I feel that for those of you where you don't have somebody in your life or you don't have um, anyone really that you're interested in right now uh, it's also saying to you you know yes what you're doing right now is fine what it is worth waiting for as in it's worth you know just going along and doing exactly as you're doing right now because what you're doing right now is important for you and it's serving a function so just stay with who you are and at a later stage this love or this new beginning is going to start in your life um it's going to come along later on and right now it's okay to simply be where you're at right now um i just feel there's another message in here and i want to see if i actually oh yes so it's basically about balancing, you know, it's about balancing that within you. So the best that you can do at this moment is simply allow um, the divine support to, to take charge. But inside of you is to maintain that balance, you know, and I was talking about that again, because what I feel here is that there could be an energy of anxiety or there could be an energy of like impatience coming through. And what you need to do is simply um, dissolve that energy. You need to work on, on yourself or work with that part of yourself where you're actually maintaining a balance in your life, regardless of the external circumstances, regardless of what else is going on. And if you focus on that, there, you will be so busy doing that that everything else will take place behind the scenes and before you know it you will actually find what you've been waiting for or what you've been looking for uh, and it will actually be there so you don't need to run after this person you don't need to work hard to draw this person in you simply need to work with yourself you know maintain that balance and surrender to the situation allow the support and allow time all right, so I hope that's been helpful for you and uh, I hope that um, you, I wish you all the luck as you go ahead in your, in, in these weeks ahead as well as in your love life and um, yeah, I hope, I'm hoping that all of you are well and once again, thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers. I appreciate uh, all the comments and all the positive feedback as well as the negative feedback. So thank you very much and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.